Hey there, I recently did a video doing a review on Untitled UI and one thing I didn't put in the review because I wanted to just focus on the review of the product was how I like to go about customizing the UI kit to have it fit my projects. So in this video I'm going to show you two quick ways that I like to use when I want to customize the components in Untitled UI. Now full disclaimer is that I'm a freelancer so I try to get from Figma into Webflow as fast as possible. So this method might not work for everybody. For example, if you're in like a team of designers at like a big corporation, you might have to have more of a structured Figma file. But for a freelancer, this is what I found works for me. So if there's other methods you use for your design files, if you work in a team, please let me know in the comments below. This is just what I found works best for me as a freelancer. So now that the disclaimer is out of the way, I'm going to show you the two methods I like to use. The first one is to just simply copy and paste. So what I'll do is I'll add a new page where I'll build the hypothetical new website. So I'll just leave it at, I'll just call this one website. And I'll put it all the way to the bottom. So I'll first go to the navigation and I'll just use nav bars for this example. And I'll find a full width nav bar that I want to use. So I'll take this one and I'll do control C to copy it. And I'm going to go down to my website page, open up a new frame with a standard 1440. And I'm going to paste that in. And just for design purposes, I'll put it to the top. And now on most of my projects, 80% of the time, I'm going to have a container that's either 1180 pixels, 1110 pixels, 1280 pixels. Regardless, I usually have it within the same three to four container widths. So let's say I wanted to have one of those widths on this navigation. What I would do is I'm going to detach it, the instance. So now it's the completely detached from my UI kit and I can go in and start customizing the components. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to what is the container and I'm going to get rid of the padding here. And then on the container that's 1280, let's say I want to have this one be 1110. So I'll make this one 1110 and now I have an 1110 with nav bar. So let's say we want to have, so now that we have our 1110 with nav bar, let's say we want to have the nav links on the right side. What we're going to do is we're going to troll down the container and in this content that has the logo and the nav links, we're going to troll that down. And we have the logo and the navigation. We're going to move the navigation out of this. So now that it's three different, what would be considered divs in Webflow. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to troll down navigation and move the navigation actions into this. So now you have the links on the right side and just the logo on the left. And that's the first method I like to use when I want to customize components. Another way of doing it is a more structured way of using variants. So we're going to go back to our nav bars. So we're going to select our full width header navigation and select the top so all the components are selected. And we're going to add a variant. And we're going to call this variant something else because we have the desktop that came with it. So I'm going to call this one desktop 1110. And now I'm going to zoom in and now I can start customizing this one. So when I open this, I can go down the container and I can make it 1110. And then I can even do that thing with the nav links on the right side. So I'll twirl this down, open up the content, move the navigation out. And then put the nav links in. So now we have the 1110. 
So now we have the 1110 nav bar. And if we go back to our website and back to the assets, and we have our nav bar, we'll drop in a full width navigation. And as you see, it's the default desktop, which with untitled UI is 1280. And now we can go to the breakpoint, select desktop 1110, and it's our 1110 nav bar. So those are just two quick ways that I like to customize untitled UI. It offers a lot of flexibility if you have common sizes you like to use. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.